Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to create and consume gRPCs in Rust. Now if you worked with microservices, you probably know or heard about gRPCs. Basically, it's a high-performance remote procedure called framework developed by Google. It enables efficient communication between distributed system as it utilizes HTTP2 for communication and protocol buffers for serialization. So in today's video, we'll learn how to create and consume gRPCs in Rust. First, we'll create gRPC server and gRPC client, and we'll be using protobuf as well for serialization purpose. So let's get started. First of all, we'll move to our project explorer. Here we need a few files. So first of all, we need a Rust module named client.rs. Similarly, we need a server.rs. As I mentioned, we'll be creating both client and server for uh, basically creating gRPCs and consuming it. And similarly, we'll add a new package and we'll name it as proto. And inside the proto, we'll add our proto file. So we'll add as, let's say, hello world.proto. So we'll move to our cargo terminal file and let's add a few dependencies. So first of all, we need tonic for our gRPCs and then we need prost for our protocol buffers. Then we need Tokyo right, version as latest and features as full. And then we need a build dependency for code generation, which is tonic build with the latest version. And then we will have two separate binaries. First will be for our server. So we'll name it as gRPC server. And the path for this will be to trigger src slash server.rs. Similarly, we'll have another bin and this will use gRPC client and the path for this would be src slash uh, client.rs. So once you add all of these, now let's create our proto. So here we have to define our skeleton or our syntax of how our proto should look like and then the code generation will do all the magic which we'll see in a minute. So syntax and then we'll use package. Let's name our package as hello world. And then we want to create a service. So you can name here your service, but I'm just creating a basic greet, uh, greeting service. So this greeting, there's a RPC, which is say hello. And it gets a hello request and it returns a hello response. So we'll just say message and hello request and it gets a name and it returns a message which is hello response and here also we'll say string message one so this is all that you need to add in your proto so as many rpcs you want to create you have to register for that particular service then back to your project explorer here we'll go to our top and add a rust file which is build.rs now this will help us encode so here we'll add a couple of lines which is main and inside the main we'll just add result of unit or dynamic sorry box dynamic and std error error and here we'll just add tonic build compile protos and path to our proto which is proto slash hello world dot proto and the last thing that we need is a ok of unit once we add all of these just build your project or just do cargo build depending on if your ID has some shortcuts anyways so everything is built and nice and clean and our code generation is also done now we'll go ahead and write our server where we'll utilize our code generation as well so we'll just say pub mod hello world and here we will say tonic include proto and point to our hello world the package which is this and then we will just say pub struct and my greeter 
so here we will use derive and debug and default once you add this we'll just impulse for our uh, greeter and this is coming from now code generation so as you can see my greeter is here but greeter is our this one which is from the proto file now if i implement the members as you can see it asks us to implement our say hello rpc which is defined here so this all comes through the code generation and now let's go ahead and add a rpc for this so we'll just reply hello world hello response and in the response we'll just do message format uh, let's say hello from server side and here we'll just do request dot into inner dot name so we get our name we respond to our request with this reply and we'll just say okay response new and we will pass our reply so this is all that we are doing basically we are getting a request with some name and then we are just formatting a message and sending the reply just to get you guys used to how does this whole thing work so it's a tonic async trait and the second thing that we'll add is basically a, a tokyo man so we'll say async fn man and on top of this we'll just say tokyo man and result of unit or box of dynamic standard error and error and we'll define the address where we want to run our uh, server on grpc server on so i'll just use the local host and 50051 let's say the port parse and so we'll create instance of our service greet our service and my greeter default and because we are not doing any kind of initialization so just use the default and we'll just say service server and builder dot add service and we'll add our greeter service so we'll say greeter server dot new and we'll add our greeter service to that and then we'll add our address where we want to run and we'll await unwrap and then we'll just say okay so this is our grpc server ready just to go over again we defined our schema in hello world.proto and then we did our code generation through build.rs through just these couple of lines and then we used our code generation and to write our service which just returns a response and this is pretty much ready so what we'll do is first our run our server and we'll test this rpc from insomnia or you can use postman as well and then we'll write the client as well just one last thing let's add a print here so actually we know that our application is running hello or listening and now let's go and run this so just go to your terminal and quickly do uh, cargo run and quite and bin and here we'll say grpc server because as you remember in cargo toml file we explicitly said to run it uh, with when we run grpc server so let's run this okay as you can see it says listening now let's go ahead and test it using insomnia or postman so once you are in your favorite testing tool just click and add a new grpc request and here we will add our path so it's on localhost uh, 50051 and then we have to import our proto file so just add the directory where your proto file is so as you can see i just imported my proto file and just press save once your proto file is imported it will give you this option select method now it will show you all your rpcs so i'm just using say hello rpc 
and then it also shows us what uh, body to add so let's add some body here name as uh, jack let's say and let's send the request there you go as you can see our remote procedure uh, call works and we are able to get the response from the server now let's go ahead and write grpc client so basically we can consume our grpc endpoint from our uh, code instead of using any other tool so let's go ahead so back to your id and make sure to stop the server and let's go ahead and now write our client.rs so this is our server.rs again i'm scrolling just you can uh, stop if you have any uh, error or anything you can just you know pause and write as i have written it now let's go ahead and write our client so first of all we'll say use hello world greeter client and greeter client and then we'll say use hello world the error will go in a few minutes hello request and we'll not use it from the server but we can have it in the client as well hello world and we'll just include tonic include proto hello world or proto and now let's go ahead we don't need to add anything else just a man async fn man that returns a result of unit or box of dynamic steady error of error and we'll just add tokyo man on the top so we'll just say let mutable client reader client connect and here we have to give our path so just add your path like this uh, as you know for me it's running on 5051 and then we'll create a request so we'll just say tonic request new and our hello request and in the hello request we have property which is name and we'll name it as let's say debit dot into and once we have this we will just send the request and let's have some response here we'll just say client dot say hello request dot await so basically calling our rpc as you can see we are not using anything else because everything is free using code generation and then we'll just print our response and return ok of unit now let's go ahead run our server run our client and test it i think just a small thing here we don't need unwrap because we already use this question mark here and then we can just do into inner dot message to just print our message now let's go to our terminal we'll just spin up our server and then in the next step we'll just spin up our client the server is running the client is running there you go as you can see it says hello david from the server side so basically our client runs our server runs so just like we have rest apis but mostly for microservice communication around the world now most companies and most people are using and shifting to our grpcs because they are fast and efficient so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understood and learned this exciting and interesting concept of grpcs if you do like the video share with your friends subscribe to the channel if you have any reviews any feedbacks for how i talk in my videos or anything i explain just feel free to leave in the comments and if you need code as well you can ask in the comments i'll happy to share the repo that's it thank you